how do I stop using exercise as punishment for bad food choices? This was a great question that came in from Krista. And I wanted to share the answer with all of you because I believe we're in a time of mass confusion thanks to the internet. Everybody that's got an opinion is now an expert without the credentials and the background or the experience of dealing with food and exercise and how they work together for improving overall health and wellness, not as a punishment guilt cycle that needs to be snapped. There's a lot of credibility to if you got stranded on an island, your body is designed in a way that it will adapt to survive until it can't. Now, you can get into the discussion on intermittent fasting and you can talk about getting into a state of ketosis. And again, in a textbook world, there's a lot of credibility to that. However, in my experience of doing this for 38 plus years at the time of this recording, what I have seen is 99.99% of the individuals that are wanting to try to lose body weight are already stressed to the max. They're working full time, they've got a family, they've got financial responsibilities, they're trying to take on athleticism for their health and wellness and maybe even some performance. But the challenge that we run into is as we grow up, we don't get educated on why are we binge eating a bag of chips? Well, that's because we go to school all day, we use our brain and we drain our liver, and then when we get home, we have a low blood sugar and we're like a Tasmanian devil into that pantry. Now, I'm not using it as an excuse. I think we all can admit it's very easy to sit down and devour a bag or a box of chips. What I want you to stop and think about it in the context of this video today is what can I do to stop using exercise as punishment for bad food choices. Understand where the bad food choices are coming from. Low blood sugar. Now again, I understand some of us have the inability to kind of cut off those binge eating, but I will encourage you that if I can get you to snack on fruits and vegetables, now again, I'm not, I don't live in a glass house. I'm not saying if you snack on chips every day, tomorrow you're not gonna wake up and do nothing but snack on fruits and vegetables. I'm, and please don't expect that of yourself. That's just it's too far of an extreme. What I want you to do is try to substitute one of those quote unquote bad eating snacks with a bowl of fresh fruit. Notice I said fruit and not vegetables. Fruit is a little bit sweeter. It's probably going to encourage your desire to do that. What you will notice is that you're going to have better mental clarity. You're going to have better energy. You're going to notice that if you do go for a walk or you do work out, you're going to notice that it's more productive. You're actually enjoying it. Heaven forbid we actually enjoy it, right? So again, I'm not trying to coddle anybody. I think we live in a world right now where there's just such a mass confusion associated with where does the balance even begin? Where does it become too extreme? And what can we, like, it's almost like we feel guilty if we're actually enjoying the food that we're eating and enjoying the exercise. In regards to how do we avoid using exercise as a punishment tool for food choices, understand that the food choices are because we're stressed out and we binge eat. I can do an entire video on this, but as you stress, as your stress levels go up, the, the hormones that are going on inside your system actually throws off the insulin in your pancreas, which makes you crave junk food. Again, I could do an entire video on it, but please stick with me here. When your body's under a lot of stress, the craving for simple sugars and starches goes up. That's why you hear me so much preaching about you've got to manage stress before you do anything else. That's going to decrease your body fat. That's going to decrease your overall cortisol production. It's going to decrease the amount of stress on the adrenal system. And it just starts snowballing the right direction instead of the wrong direction. Now, if we're going to under, if, excuse me, if we understand that stress is creating us to binge eat, and you get that under control, please give yourself, and I don't care if you consider yourself completely unfit or whether you consider yourself an elite athlete, you need to be doing more low intensity training. You need to be reducing oxidative stress. You ever thought about that? As you bring your heart rate higher and higher, you're producing more metabolic byproduct. Part of the whole chemical process of converting stored sugar glycogen into energy is oxidative stress. Hence the word antioxidants, 
that we get from fruits and vegetables. Do you see the self-correcting mechanism? If I can get you to snack on fruits and vegetables, when you do exercise and you bring the intensity up higher, guess what? The fresh fruits and vegetables offsets the negative byproduct of high intensity training. But bring it back to the original question. How do I avoid using exercise as punishment for bad food choices? Bring the two ends a little bit closer to the center. Don't go extreme with food. Don't go extreme with exercise. What's going to end up happening is the body fat's going to drop off. Is it because you're exercising? Of course. Is it because you're reducing the stress? Yes. You reduce the stress, you increase the quality of food intake, you're going to start sleeping better. Go to bed satisfying appetite, now you get the release of recovery hormones like testosterone and HGH. Now you've turned the system around. So I thought this was such an incredible comment. How do I stop using exercise as punishment for bad food choices? Zoom out to 10,000 feet, look at the catalyst, very, very simple solution. And please be careful. Don't buy into what the mainstream internet world wants to sell you on. Smash yourself with high intensity, high intensity, high intensity. It's, it's kind of like a car. If you have a car that has a lot of miles on it and you try to drag a trailer up a mountain, you're not going to be surprised that it blows up. Why? Because it's already tired. You need to think about yourself the same way. You've got to give yourself a chance to recover on a daily basis. So fantastic question. I want to thank all of you. You guys have been sending in more and more questions every day. And we, on behalf of myself and my entire team, we want to say thank you. We want to answer your frustrations. We want to answer your questions, clarify confusion th- confusing things that are floating around. If you have a question, please reach out to us. Contact at coachrob.com. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. Our goal is to get one of these videos out every day for you. And we want to make sure that we get all questions answered. That's our mission. So... On behalf of myself and everyone here at CoachRob.com, thank you for your time, and we'll see you again soon.